Good morning guys, today is 2nd April and we are still in the house quarantine. It is right now 11 and as you can see the baby is hanging on me. This night again we didn't sleep very well. I guess that her eating habits are changing. She is hungry, that's why she's awake, so waking up often. And since she's waking up and I have to feed her, I have to wake up as well so both of us did not sleep this well I'm already like looking swollen from here and there when I woke up today which was pretty late I quickly showered because I had to go to the Wochenmarkt so the fresh vegetable and fruit market that is happening here uh, close to our place on Thursdays and since it's a limit oh yeah since it's a limited market like it's from I think 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Since it's happening from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., I had to rush, so I left her at home with my husband. I went and I bought the necessary items. After 40 minutes of trying to walk with her in the Tragetuch, the bag, throughout the house and in the alley, and also like jumping, hopping, doing everything, she didn't sleep. She just drank a little bit and now she's playing what i was telling that time was that every thursday we have from 7 a.m to 1 p.m this wochenmarkt close to where we live this wochenmarkt is basically fresh fruit and vegetable market you also can buy meat there fresh eggs from the farm and like different cheese and also breads like people come and put their stands and some of the people like bakery people they come with a um, kind of wagon so a truck and they you can buy different breads then there is a cheese truck there is a meat truck there is egg pea person so you can buy fresh from the farm this concept i like very much because there is no middleman between the person who is buying the vegetables or who is growing potatoes is the one who's coming here and selling it the person who has the f the strawberry farms is the one who is selling it there might be also certain cases where certain fruits and vegetables are not grown here in the surroundings and they buy also somewhere but it's like it's better than having something like from spain now or italy or like something that is coming through the ship or through any kind of cargo so i really like to go to this market every thursday and buy those things today since i did not sleep this well i woke up very late and i had to rush i had to rush because i did not want to take her with me since kids and babies are recommended to be left at home when you're going to supermarkets or any such markets so i left her at home and i bought these stuff i got a lot of grapes, strawberries from Germany, salad, salad, rucola salad, some pears, some apples, clementine. I think they're mandarins. Mm, then I got two from each sort. Paprika, some zucchini, auberginen, and then I got a whole bread, Laugenbrötchen, a so Laugenstange basically, two different cheese. And I got also a moon chicken. I'm not a cheese person. I was not a cheese person, but I slowly started to eat cheese. And this is a cheese that was recommended by the cheese guy. And by cheese guy, I mean the guy who was selling it. I just asked him, I want some cheese that we can eat with like red grapes. And then he said, there are lots of cheese that you can eat with red grapes. Which one do you want? And then I said, okay, I'm from India. I am not used to very strong cheese taste. So you have to recommend me something that is mild and some old, something also that tastes Good and it's good for my butts. So I got this one, and then there's this cheese that I bought like two weeks ago for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not sure how it's called, but it's really nice because here's the cheese, and on top of it, they have most likely uh, some fruit. I'm not sure, I have to check which fruit is it. I think it's cherry yeah I think it's cherry hopefully all of this will survive now for a week and if it doesn't then I can shortly go to a supermarket and just grab some more vegetables because we also regularly eat dal rice roti so yeah I don't have to buy too many vegetables like in one go a few moments later
it is right now 6 p.m. It is a long, long jump. I last shot the video about what I bought today from the Wochenmarkt was around like 12, I would say. And after that, we had a lunch. I fed her. She did not eat much, so I think so that since three days she's not eating much of rice either it's just a growth spurt or it's just a phase where she's not liking the things anymore or she's teething or it's like her taste has changed uh, changed so she has started to not like the things that she used to like before but um all in all she ate a little bit and after that she slept and I also slept with her because we did not sleep both this night well so I slept with her around like one hour and a half or something and that did me really well I didn't think that I need sleep but once I slept and I woke up I was so fresh and so was she and then I called my mommy called my sister we spoke to we, we had a group whatsapp call and I'm very glad that I slept because when I woke up I was so energetic that I started to cook proper meal and I ended up cooking aloo gobi sabji with roti. I'm happy because I do not cook everyday Indian meal. It's like I usually try to do boiled vegetable soup with breads and probably sometimes end up with broadside but today I cook proper Indian meal and I'll show you what. That's the aloo gobi sabji I prepared. Here is yogurt with uh, beetroot. Here are chapatis. A little bit of and salad that is going to be a lovely dinner so that is what I achieved today and probably I will maybe achieve in the next two three hours a little bit more like cleaning up and arranging things It's written, it's written that in the families where parents themselves have some allergies like heart, eczema, asthma and Heuschnupfen, then uh, regarding the baby's food you should also be careful until the second year. So I just now read the Essen and Trinken section, the food and drink section of this book from four to nine months. The thing is that I'm not satisfied with the information that is there so it this book has really good information and it has information that neither of us knew and it's really helpful but the problem is that right now I'm looking for information like why kid is strangely cranky all of a sudden and there is nothing that we can do. Now um, as a regular human being I went through Google and I checked what could is the camera straight perhaps not okay, yes. so I went through Google and I saw like different growth spurts and what is possible the kid has been eating good and suddenly it just gave up from eating and then I came to different blogs and I read them and uh, that made a little bit sense to me. So we were already guessing that it is teething, that she might be teething, but that all of us, like all the family members are guessing since December. So whenever she cried or did like strong biting uh, reflex when she had that, we, we thought, okay, she's teething, but it's been like now three months from December and there still hasn't been even a tooth so it could be possibly teething because right now on an average kids start to begin teething from six months second thing that i read is that it's just a phase where kids do not like the taste they have been liking since days or weeks they just have a 
a phase where they want something new or they don't want solids at all they just want mother milk and that's why they only want breast feeding there have been also cases where kids do not like solids and the bottle so she's also in that phase where she's not eating solids whatsoever even when she's hungry and she's also not taking the bottle although i have not given her bottle in the first three months of her birth so not the bottle milk uh, we definitely gave her the bottle I, I was pumping my milk and filling it at the bottle and my husband was feeding her when i was away but we did not give the bottled milk until i would say um five months or something so she's right now not taking anything other than the breast milk then there was something else that was written that it is also possible that the kid is right now going through six months sleep regression usually kids go through fourth months uh, sleep regression but some of the kids also go through six months and i guess she is right now going through six months sleep regression because not not only she's eating uh not no solids and taking no bottle milk she's also not sleeping well since like three nights so she's uh, really waking up often and this last night was extremely extremely bad that each hour she was waking up and no matter what i did she was not sleeping so today um i thought that i will change my strategy maybe it's like this that since she's not eating any solids and since she's only on breast milk and it's not enough uh, it's not filling her belly much i decided that now when she will wake up I will get up, I will run to the kitchen, I will quickly make her regular milk, like bottled milk, and I will try to give her the bottle, and if she takes the bottle, then perfect. Hopefully that that makes her satisfied and that makes her sleep for a long time. And I can also sleep then, and if not, then of course I will continue feeding her. No matter whatever it is, I read on the blogs that uh, this will last either one or two weeks and i hope it does because it has been already three days and i don't want it to last for long like i know no mother wants it but as i said that it belongs to the the, the parenthood and the, the development of the kid uh, i'm looking forward that she uh, comes out of this phase and it goes back to normal again because she's often cranky and uh, she's often rubbing her eyes so she's sleeping during the day because she's not sleeping in the night and um, she's also not eating so I know she will be fine in, in a week or two but still I just want that things go better well regarding um, the day today I achieved not much but that that I read this uh, SNN drinking from the book and I also made the Indian food that I enjoyed very much and um, it took me time like roughly 90 minutes something till I made her sleep but now she's sleeping and I hope she sleeps a little bit longer so I can have my relaxed time now by the way if you have a kid or kids and you've been through the same and you have any idea what is right now going on then let me know in the comments section below because I would really like to know what other parents go through and what kind of phases other kids have because since each kid is different she definitely goes through phases that probably other kid won't but there are certain phases that each kid goes through like generic phases like teething phase getting cranky phase not sleeping well phase and sleeping really well phase then getting active phase so just let me know if there are certain phases or such a phase that you also your kid also went through much love